How much is it? Yeah? That's cool. It's an actual slinky dog. Yeah, with the spring. Yeah, with the original spring. That's a light up slinky dog, which is pretty cool. They got a bucket of army men. Can we try the I like that backpack. I like this backpack. Traps. Yeah, it's a over the shoulder, like across the chest strap. I like that. Yeah, it's a one strap. I like that. A bucket of just aliens? What? And it comes with a claw? Focus! Dad, look at this. Look at aliens with a claw. Or, no, that's a rocket ship. Dad. I need this in my life. Dad. That's cool. I like that. It's got the claw going to the alien in the cup. They got alien e eyeball oh, ears. Yeah, yeah, those probably light up. Ooh, the claw. <laughs> and then they have some Buzz Light ears over there. The I'll head over there. And the mystery pins are wooden blocks. It's pretty cool. A better shot of the benches I was talking about made out of popsicle sticks. Soldier walking around. Uh, the kids and I are gonna go ride alien swirling saucer. So let's go do it. Look, there's an the alien. Uh, yes, ma'am, that would be lovely. You gonna go find you a seat over here in the shade? Okay. Oh, I can't wait for this. I'm gonna get so dizzy. Look, there's Buzz. There's, guys, it's Star Wars land. It's Star Wars land. It's so beautiful. It's like a horse in a carriage. Except it's the inside. Tinker blocks, building blocks. These are the restrooms using uh, Scrabble pieces. Oh, look at the ants. It's from the Cooties game, right? Or ants in your pants? Uh, no, I think those are cooties. You build the cootie. And you... Yeah, those are cooties. Dad. Look at his spaceship. Uh, lights are swirling so or alien saucers. That's cool. There's Buzz's ship. Command center. Bushes are neat. They're using like succulents and stuff right here. There's some over here. Whenever we were on the slinky coaster, didn't it look like there was no grounding? Like you were just flying. More succulents. Oh, I thought it was a spaceship. <laughs> Allie thought it was a crash spaceship. Look, I think it crashed into It's a soldier. Rock. You threw it in. Wait, he's super glued in here. Mm, well, it's just a sticky putty. Check these guys out. They're cool looking. Those look like they belong in Pandora. They're they're pumping in fake bird noises. These magnolia trees are gorgeous though. It's actually really cool right here in this back little corner for alien swasser. Swasser, alien saucer. So, but that's only because the sun's that way and not that way yet, so. They're pumping in fake, fake bird noises and stuff. I'm pretty sure there's a lawnmower as well. Um, because it kind of sounds like it came over here and you hear it slowly disappear. So either somebody's mowing grass there it is. on the other side of that bush. Yeah, you hear it the closer you get over there. Or there's a lawnmower noise that weaves through here. That's kind of neat. Not, yeah, you know, little that. touches. I little awesome touches. I... We're in the queue a little bit more. Dad, look how cool that fan Got this thing. Is. Oh yeah, the fan glows green. That's awesome. I'm like, it's a little lame that it's a fan, but it's still really cool. <laughs> I mean, that's a cool fan. I'd have that fan. If it went faster and it was on the floor, I'd have it. Look, it's the power generator for the spaceship. Oh, 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 oh. Feel, feel it, Dad, feel. It's gonna, like... Yeah, it's just the, the vibration from the noise. No, feel the purple. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's vibrating from the noise. It's the view from inside Buzz's ship. Docking control. It's cool, I like that. There's a hidden Mickey on the Buzz Lightyear wall. That's pretty neat, that's a good one. I, I almost didn't catch it, I just looked past it, but I almost didn't catch it. 
They're watching us. There's a camera. There's probably one in that one too. But you can actually see that one. Some buttons on the wall over there. Star Command Scanner. Oh, they're cool. I like those. There's a neat little fountain. Everything looks so cool here. Because that's the point. Operation Delta. The little entrance archway looks pretty cool. Buzz is around here somewhere naked, y'all. <laughs> Second star to the right. Straight on till morning. Uh, it's second star to the right. That's the second star to the right of the first star. What's happening? Mind blown. <laughs> it's the last stretch of the queue for uh, Alien Swirling Saucer. It's pretty neat. It's a slice of pizza. The alien in the center. Star Wars Land. <laughs> so it's just me and Jordan and Allie Ryan, and I chose to ride two and three because I wasn't sure if all three of us would fit in this together, but the belt's got plenty of space and we still got all of this left, so anybody could ride it. Jordan's over there. Sit back and hold on. I don't need to hold on. Okay. I'm holding on because I'll be sliding all over the place. I'm a person who's a daredevil. Hopefully I don't lose my hat. Look at the alien in the claw. There's a uh, planet. Jordan said he thought there was a hidden Mickey on the crater over here in the middle of this one. I like their operation booth. Here we go. <laughs> so those little ant looking things, they're the cooties from the cooties game. Uh, we stopped off at the restroom. So I thought I'd show it to you some more. Okay, now let me be very clear. The Alien Swirling Saucer is an absolutely adorable, fun ride. Um, it's just not worth the 30 minute wait. Um, because it's kind of over pretty quick, it's, it's very, very similar in experience to um, Barnstormer in Magic Kingdom. It's a fun ride, it's just, it's over so quick that it's not really worth a long wait. We have a soldier escort uh, to Toy Story Mania. This is the line for Slinky Dog and it goes all the way back there. Yeah. 
This is the new queue for Toy Story uh, Mania. It says it's about a 50 minute wait, but I mean, most of it's inside, so I'll take it. Hey, water fountains, that's cool. They do have benches that are using Domino Block. I forgot to get a shot of it. Uno cards. Humpty Dumpty. Little Bo Peep and her sheep. Oh yeah, I'll take it. It feels great in here. So Kristen pointed out I've been calling this guy Squeaker all day and his name is Meezy. So just thought to point that out. We're gonna try at Andy's lunchbox. So we're gonna pick up some stuff. So this <clears throat> the stands for the front um, kiosk for the lunchbox place is uh, Trixie's Treats and Berry Bites. It's kind of cool. They did just pass out samples of the pastries and the Mystic Portal Punch for people standing in line because they're they're in the between going over to lunch, and so they're basically there's a hold right now. But they did pass out some samples, so it was very awesome of them. We got. We got the brisket melt with macaroni salad, the turkey sandwich with bisque soup, tomato bisque soup. That's the chocolate hazelnut candied bacon. These are tachos. We got the mystic punch. Kristen got an angry orchard and some water. So we're gonna just kind of split this among the four of us and give it a try. Better shot of the food. So there's the turkey sandwich. It's on multi-grain bread. And then there's the cheesy brisket, the macaroni, the bisque, the tachos and the uh, pastry. Now the Mystic Punch is Blue Mountain Berry Powerade uh, with tangerine and lemon lime. All right, let's give this a shot. I like that the bread's a little burnt. It's like toast. Toast sandwich. Whoops. The brisket's super tender. It's got good flavor. It's got cheese and pickles and barbecue sauce on it. Excuse me. I'd like to see a little bit more brisket on it, but it's probably better than some sandwiches I've had from barbecue joints. So, good on you, Dizzy. That's mm -hmm. a good beef brisket sandwich, so. Yeah, it's good, but it's hot. All right, I'm gonna try the pasta salad, but Christian has warned me that there are olives, and to avoid them. Uh, I see them. That's very good, that is light, and that is refreshing. And that is super cold on a hot day. That's great to have on a hot day like this. It's not heavy at all. That's pretty good. And I don't even like olives, so. Tomato bisque soup. Yeah. You said that's gonna be really cool. Very light, very creamy, not a very heavy bisque at all. Um, it's good, I like it. I don't know I'd eat it on a hot day. I got it just so we can sample it. But it's pretty good. And I have a feeling the best way to eat it is to dip the turkey sandwich in it, but we'll try that next. So this is the turkey sandwich with nothing on it except for what it comes with. multi grain bread and everything. Yes. Standard turkey sandwich, standard turkey lunch meat. It's good. It's not dry at all. I think there is mayonnaise on it or something on it, but it's not bad at all. I don't mind it, but I think this is the way it's probably best meant to be had. Dip it in the tomato bisque. This is a little better flavor. So, dip your turkey sandwich in the tomato bisque. Pretty good. Can I it, it's got good conflicting. Jordan. It's got good conflicting uh, hot like cold that. elements. So, dang, I had the perfect bite. Pretty good. The tachos. So it's basically tater tot nachos. There's some corn chips, chili sauce, uh, cheese, sour cream, chives. So it's not the best thing we ordered. The brisket's probably the best thing we ordered. It's still good if you're a big fan of. Um, of tater tots. I'm not a big fan. There is a lot of carbs in everything here, so that's kind of kind of rough, but I think a half of the brisket sandwich, I could probably eat that brisket sandwich for four or five hours and be totally fine, so I enjoyed it. Um, if you tried it, let me know. We're going to try the last thing. We did try, like I said, they, um, they gave out samples of the raspberry tart, and it was okay. It's just a raspberry, like, pop tart. Um, the pastry is a little bit tougher than a pop tart, but still very raspberry. Raspberry was fine, so I'm gonna try this chocolate hazelnut candy bacon one. Yes. Can I try the? So, uh, it's 
the inside. Nachos. All right, let's see. Oh, that, that looks really good. That is super sweet, super thick, and super heavy. So be careful eating one of those because if you're running around on a hot day, that your stomach might not agree. It's good, don't get me wrong, it's good, but one bite's way more than enough for me. But I can't taste any of the bacon or anything yet. I just taste the hazelnut, which is just Nutella. So it was good. Let us know if you tried any of this stuff. I did like the Mystic Punch because I tried it in line when they were passing out the samples. But all in all, pretty good food. So let me know what you thought. All right, I had another bite into the tachos and I got really deep down in there. I guess there's a lot more flavor towards the bottom, like maybe where the sauce and the chili stuff kind of sinks down to. Ooh, a lot a better. Picky. Still not my favorite thing we ordered, but it was definitely a lot better like once I really got into it. And I give it to them, the tater tots are crispy, so that's good, like they're not soggy tater tots. Like us. Favorite thing, <laughs> the Angry Orchard beer. The brisket. The brisket, what do you think of the chocolate pastry? It's like a kosher strawberry. To me, it just tastes like Nutella. So rank it, rank everything you tried. One. Brisket. Pasta salad. Pasta salad, you're a big pasta salad fan. Uh, the bisque. Right. Potato tots. And then the turkey sandwich. Uh, then the pastry and then the The turkey sandwich is a very standard turkey sandwich. What was your favorite? What was your favorite? What was your favorite? Tachos. The tachos are your favorite? You said you really liked the Mystic Punch? Wait, I did too. I kind of wish they did a sugar free version, but it was really good. What? Tachos and the puff. Tachos and the pastry? This is just kind of the sitting area for Woody's lunchbox. That's the prime spot, that table right there, because it's got the big fan behind it. All right, so it is 11.10 in the morning. We got to Hollywood Studios at 7.15. We've ridden all three Toy Story rides that are in Toy Story Land, and we've had lunch. Well, lunch, we've had brunch, like a late breakfast, yeah. Um, and we're gonna go back to the hotel and chill out, and then come back later tonight to do Hollywood Studios, basically. Um, Frozen Ever After. Ever After and then Rock yeah, and then hopefully we'll get to watch the Star Wars um, Galactic, Night. Galactic Night fireworks, uh, depending on how long Rock and Roller Coaster takes. But I would say if you plan it right, even without fast passes for any of these, um, you can get in here and have a good time. And I mean, it's not terrible; it's great. So, but I'll say Toy Story Land's great. It's really pretty in here. They did a really good job building it. I know a lot of people's complaints is that there's not enough shade, but that goes with the theming because it's a backyard. But I can definitely understand it. In the Florida sun, it's kind of rough, but it's still a very cool land that they built here. So I enjoyed it. So all together, all of that cost us $56.97, and they don't accept the annual pass holder discount. So just a heads up. We made the decision to head back just in time because it's about to storm. Ominous clouds. We'll see. Well, you've seen it. You've seen the brand new land in Hollywood Studios, Toy Story Land. The gorgeous, gorgeous Toy Story Land. We've ridden all the rides. We've eaten all the food. We're going back to the hotel to chill out till later tonight. And then we're going to come back and ride some rock and roller coaster. Hope you guys enjoyed this wonderful trip with us. We're so happy to be home. Love you guys. Till tomorrow.